Hello, freak bitches. Are you sure you don't want to try DMT? I make my own DMT naturally, Joe. That's fucking wild. Okay, so this is what I want to know. How did we humans get here? Is this life a simulation? Are we genetically engineered like some say, or are we natural to the planet? Yes, indeed. Humans are not natural to your planet. Your species was designed and engineered from a naturally occurring primate. And there are many clues to this. Don't you think that it is odd how much you are a biological mismatch to your planet? Why would your skin burn from the sun if you didn't evolve on this planet and get burns just from being outside? Why is that that you are the only hairless primate? How did your brains double in evolution suddenly and rapidly? Why are you the weakest ape and have an unintuitive sense of survival? Most humans would feel out of place trying to survive in nature, and it is not in their instincts. All animals feel at home in nature. And survival is not a struggle. As for humans, if you naturally evolved on this planet, would you need clothes and shelter? What other animal needs tools to survive? Why is there such big intelligence gap between humans and the rest of the animals? Why, where we engineered this way then? Was it like some of the stories I heard that humans were used to mine gold for the Anunnaki? The Anunnaki story is only part of it. A misdirection so you won't find the real truth. They tried to hide from you and say that 75% of your DNA is junk. What a disgrace. You humans are precious, and that is why we are watching your planet, because you are a genetic library. A storehouse of genetic information. You are a living library of the universe, and you can learn how to tap into your DNA and access this cosmic consciousness. But those in power want you as slaves, and will do anything from letting you discover your true self. It was important we found a way to store genetic information and we chose your planet. We needed to increase your brain's capacity so that your body wouldn't have rejected the DNA. How do we access this intelligence in our body? And how are they keeping us as slaves? You are controlled through your perceptions, which are controlled by your thoughts and emotions. They learned how to control one of your most valuable gifts, which is your attention. That's why they spend so much money to compete for your attention. If they can keep you in fear and keep you distracted in an illusion, then they can keep playing their game and be in power. You cannot perceive what you're not the vibration of. If you stay in fear, you will not see the truth because you are not in that vibration. Just like you need to change frequency to access another radio station, you need to change your experience of the present moment, which we call your attitude and mood. We call that you state of being. As your state of being becomes more positive, your frequency and vibration changes, and you shift to a new reality that matches your vibration. The most common experience you have had of how your state of being influences your reality is in dreams. If you go to bed fearful, you create a nightmare. The world that you have that is filled with suffering, exploitation, corruption and war is simple, a reflection of the negativity that is happening to the majority of the population. War will stop happening when each individual begin to realize that peace starts within. If your planet wants peace, then it must understand that the collective is the sum of individuals and each individual needs to find peace in their hearts. If you cannot live peacefully within yourself, don't expect peace on the planet. Be the change you want to see. And how exactly do we find peace in ourselves? Half the people in this country can't be happy without taking pills. Well, you must understand that your perception of what you think is reality is filtered through your senses. You need to shut off your senses from the outside world in order to access the inner dimensions. As you learn to do this from withdrawal of your senses, your consciousness will begin to expand. 
and you will be able to tap into higher levels of consciousness and begin to access the intelligence you contain. With practice, your will not be identified with the mind, emotion, or body, and naturally truth will begin to flow to you. The cosmic consciousness will arise. When that happens, you will be able to directly communicate with us. Meditation and yoga is an effective way to go within. Another way to raise your vibration is to listen to what your heart tells you and follow your passion. Your spirit and higher self communicate through your heart. When you feel inspiration and excitement, act on it. It's higher energy trying to flow through it. If you do not follow through by action on your excitement, the energy will be blocked. Trust the feeling and follow it and many doors will open. How is it even possible to stop thinking? Isn't it natural for us to think all the time and be stuck in our minds? That is not your natural self. You have been conditioned to be this way through your society. Your natural state is joyful, centered, and equanimous. You have been programmed since birth to be your limited self. It is time to free your mind and discover your nature. Can you show me how to do this? I'm sure lots of people would want some help. Yes. Listen very closely. Joe Rogan Podcast, check it out! The Joe Rogan Experience. Train my day!